Thanks, did Pedro. he have the hardest leg kicks you've ever felt? Uh, Crow Cop. Crow Cop. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Well, I would, I would imagine. I mean, if anybody. Okay, here's, a, here's a, just a Crow Cop story. So it's me and Mirko and Eric Paulson, and we're training in Vegas. Uh, I think, I, I don't know if I was doing commentary on that show or if I was fighting Pavel Natsulo. Either way. We're training at this gym in Vegas, and Miracle came out, so we're rolling around and training together and having a good time. And and I think I was fighting, and so and, uh, Paulson's holding pads for me, and Miracle was like, "Ah, do this with your left hook instead." All right, how about? Nah, that's not it. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Here, let me show you. Here, you hold the pad. So Paulson's got this full-on tie pad, leather tie pad, and he's holding it for Mirko's right hook, since you know we're talking lead hook essentially. Right. right. So Mirko's like, no, I want you to do this. You know, you, you're doing it like X. So I need you to do it like this. So watch. Ah, and he hits this. He right hooks this pad, this tie pad. It goes, it tears the straps off of Paulson's arm. And it goes flying across the room and hits the wall and bounces off the wall and falls on the fucking ground. And everyone's just like. <gasps> and Paulson's just, he's, his hand is still like this. And he looks at me. And he looks at uh, Mirko, and Mirko's just like, Neh. and and I just, everybody's just, it's just silence. Wham, flap, blam. I just went. See, I I took that, that that's what I was getting hit with, and I still managed to stay on my feet because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, Jesus. And I just Christ. remember thinking, how the fuck? This guy is just at his best. It's just absolute pure like explosive power just just destruction yeah well you he know? broke bob sap's eyeball in the k1 did. fight remember that yeah dude he crushed people with with those high kicks his middle kick was so dangerous to me his middle and his low kick were the most dangerous because i felt like you could you could you could see you could more read the high kick but if you read the high kick or if you were too too, def too set up to defend the high kick if he ripped you in your body that's your ribs Pull if he that chopped picture. that leg Heath Herring um, versus Krokop, where Krokop's kicking him in the body, and Krokop's shin is like halfway to his spine. I think he, it, it was only one kick, too. Yeah. One kick, and it was like, boom. But it's when you see the penetration of that kick, you realize, yeah. like, that's insane. And he had a Taekwondo background that helped him. To be, but, you know, a guy like that, you could have gave him fucking, you could have had him doing anything, and he's just going to be a beast, you know? Well, he had just such ferocious, ferocious explosive power. Yeah. Remember his stare down with Vanderlei? Probably the best stare down of all time. First time Vanderlei got outstared. <laughs> you know, he's, Vanderlei's like doing the crazy eyes, and Mirko's just staring at him like a fucking evil predator. And the two of them looking at each other, I'm like, I got to give that one to Krokop. I can't even believe this. <laughs> well, think about Krokop. Krokop, was, yeah. man, that guy, motherfucker, was yeah. in war. Here's, look at that kick. Ugh. Fuck. Jesus Christ. I mean, that is deep into his body and yeah. right right where his liver is. That's a uh. insane power kick. That's that left leg. Yep, and he was the first one to flatline Vandalay too. Remember that? Uh. When he head kicked Vandalay? Yeah, oh, I that especially was when do fought... because uh, I was... I was watching that fight because my next, because I was going to go fight Noguera after that. So I'm sitting here hoping that these guys beat the shit out of each other. And he goes out there and just fucking crushes them. So now I'm just sitting here thinking, God damn it. That dude spent two minutes of beating the hell out of this guy. And now I got to go out and fight Noguera. Here's the Vandalay one. Clang. Yeah, oh, man. yeah. Ridiculous speed and power. And because of the fact that he had that traditional martial arts background, he didn't step before he threw that kick a lot of times. He just threw it, and you didn't see it coming. Well, that like, one just goes over the top of the glove. And that's right leg. Yeah. That's right leg hospital, left leg cemetery. Oh, <laughs> body. Yeah. Done. Dude. Has he got a crazy Boom. highlight reel? <laughs> you forget sometimes how insane the highlight reel of Mirko Krokop is. Well, I mean, people in the... Oof. Alexander. Yeah. People in, in the UFC never really saw, they didn't see this guy. No. You know what I mean? No, he was in Pride. Well, I, I still maintain to this day that like Pride was some of the most exciting and spectacular fights in the early days of MMA by far. They Agreed. had some insane matchups, and especially because it was a big percentage of it was the heavyweight division. It was a huge percentage of what well, they and, were... and the stage that they set for yeah. us to compete on was 90, incredible. 90,000 people, Saitama yeah. Super Arena. Ugh. It was... Ooh. Fighting in front of, I, I mean, I was fighting in front of people, like 40,000 people every time I went out there. I just wish it could have maintained. I they loved it. I was a fan of it 